All right, everybody. Hello, this is Tara. Welcome to my card review for the upcoming uh, Showdown in the Badlands expansion. Showdown in the Badlands, that's going to be the newest Hearthstone expansion from Blizzard. Okay, and maybe the last expansion I cover. I'll get to it at the end of everything. here. All right, so what is Showdown in the Badlands? Showdown in the Badlands has a bunch of new cards. There's going to be a couple of mechanics here. There's a couple of new mechanics, as always. So, mechanic number one is going to be Quick Draw. Quick Draw is, as it says here, a bonus if this entered your hand this turn. So, this is if you draw it, obviously. If you bounce it, like with a panda effect. If you generate it from RNG or uh, like any other way that it can somehow end up in your hand. If it ends up in your hand, or like if the opponent, make, maybe it saps it back into your hand accidentally. I don't... I don't there are certain cards that may be able to do that. I'm not sure. But anyway, if it goes back into your hand, you play it, you get a bonus. So like here, Bounty Wrangler, Quick Draw or Combo, get a coin. So what is this? This is basically Outcast. It's kind of it's kind of like a better and worse version of Outcast with Demon uh, with uh, yeah Demon Hunter. Because Outcast, if it enters usually if it enters your hand from the right, you're able to play it. But I think anyone who's played Demon Hunter knows that you do not play the Outcast cards on the right all that often. Usually they end up getting stuck in your hand, and you have to kind of like uh, get them out of your hand. And that's kind of, that's a problem with it. So most of the time with the Outcast cards, you play them when they're on the far left, or you kind of like you get rid of the cards that you draw to be able to play the Outcast card on the right. So the quick draw effect, I'm just going to say it's decent. Like I'm not saying it's bad. But I don't think it's going to be that great for Arena. So that's part one. Part two, which is going to be good for Arena, not for Rogue, because Rogue sucks, is Excavate. So Excavate basically means that you get a treasure. A treasure, one second, as I have the I forgot to load this up on my thing here. So Okay, so Excavate, you get treasures. The treasures are a set of kind of like lackeys. Uh, that's the best way to describe it. One second, let me put this up over here for you to see. So the first time you excavate, you get a one mana card. So again, this is kind of like a lackey. One mana rush, one mana deal three damage, one mana restore health and draw a card, one mana gain two coins, one mana, discover a two-cost card, and it costs zero. So it doesn't have the power of, like, discover dragon or discover a spell, but they're, all, they're still pretty good. They're still roughly in line with lackeys. So you discover twice. You get a two-mana two mana lackey, or two-mana uh, excavate treasure here. So here, two-mana, two-four taunt, summon a random two-four minion. That's really good. Two-mana canary, return a, mo a minion to its opponent's hand. That's a sap. That's really good. Two mana, buff the board, plus one, plus two. I mean, that's great. Two mana, deal three damage to a minion and a hero. It's a card. Two mana, discover a three cost card. It costs zero. You're still saving on mana. Not the best, but discover. Then, if you do it a third time, you get to discover a third... Uh, you get to discover from the three mana slot. So, if we take here... <coughs> excuse me. Overfist Boulder. Uh, location, set a minion stats to six, seven. That's great. Uh, Mother Low Drake, uh, Rush, Divine Shield, Life Steal, 3 mana, 4, 3. That's really, really good. Steel Hide Mold, Aunt Reborn, cannot be targeted by spells or hero powers, two, 3 mana, 2, 7. That's good. And in Warrior, that's going to be great. Collapse, deal 3 damage to all enemies. I mean, that's insane. That's great AoE. Azerite Gem, discover a 5 cost card. It costs 0. That's great for some tempo turns. That's great for just, like, getting some extra stats up. And then, so... Okay, well, not, not and then yet. So what happens is you play a card that has an Excavate. The Excavate will pull one of those cards. So it's basically card generation. So there's different kinds of card generation. There's discover card generation. There's draw card generation. There's random card generation. And now here there's Excavate card generation as well. So where do I put Excavate like compared to those cards? I would say Discover's number one because Discover breaks the fucking game. Then you have Excavate. Then you have draw, then you have random. So this is probably going to be better, especially if you can do it multiple times with the cards that you draw. 
And then certain classes, they also get a special fourth treasure. So the way the fourth treasure works is that usually it, you get a one mana card, two mana card, three mana card for excavate. Then you go back to a one mana card. However, uh, let me see here. Five classes get their own four mana card. So they go one, two, three, four. And those classes here, one second. Zoom. You should work differently. All right. So you get the Azerite Rat, which is the Death Knight one. Resurrect your highest cost minion. Give it plus two, plus two, reborn and lifesteal. You get Azerite Snake. Let me just, this make it easy. No, that doesn't fix things. Okay. Azerite Snake, Warlock 1, 4 mana 5 5, Battle Cry, you, your hero steals 10 health from the enemy hero. Mage, they're all 4 mana 5 5s. Mage, get a random Titan, it costs 1. This is going to be like completely busted, especially if Titan's gone. Uh, Azerite Scorpion, get 4 random spells. If you've ex excavated 8 times, it costs 0. That one's going to, that's probably the worst because Rogue's just completely garbage. And Azerite Ox, discover 2 8 cost minions, summon them. Extreme Tempo, and that just like wins you the game because it's stupid shit. All right. So basically excavate in these classes, like especially in Warlock, in Mage, in Warrior, you want to go for it. You want to lean heavy into it. Uh, Death Knight, it's good, but I don't think it, I think it comes out a little bit too late to be like win the game. And in Rogue, it's garbage because you really need to excavate eight times to make it worth it. And again, Rogue just completely fucking sucks. So that's the set. Now, the thing with the set, and here's another issue with it, is that this is a set that's really weird in that there are a lot of cards that kind of, I haven't checked the newest um, things that rotated in, but they don't have the proper support. So I'm going to give you an example. All right, so Demon Hunter here. One of their key things is Nagas. After you play a Naga, deal two damage to a random enemy and draw a spell, then switch. Okay, that's fine. I have loaded up here all the different sets that are in here. Let me just see what uh, minion type. Where's Naga? Naga. Demon Hunter. Sparstero. Two Nagas. Two Nagas. Across all these sets, it, it, it's worse than I thought. Across all these sets, these are the sets. Like it says right here Core, Badlands, Caverns of Time, Titans, Arthas, Descent of Dragons, Saviors of Old Doom. I'm going to double check. Core, Titans, Caverns of Time, Path of Arthas, Descent of Dragons, Saviors of Old Doom. Am I missing something? No, I am not missing something. Two fucking Nagas. Two fucking Nagas. To activate this. Okay. Am I pissed? Yes, I'm pissed. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Oh, you got a Naga here. You get a Naga here. You got, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, seven fucking Nagas. What the fuck? Yes, I am, I am upset, and I will get to that at the end here. But yeah, this is not, uh, like... Oh, discover a Naga. If you've played a Naga, well, hold it. Wow, I can discover from seven fucking cards. Good job, Blizzard. Okay, you understand how stupid this shit is, right? And this happens for a lot of classes, where that you have a synergy that's in this set, and there's just no support for it. And so you're gonna have a lot of you're gonna have a lot of classes that just have no chance. They have no fucking chance because of that. Rogue is still gonna have the same problem as before, where basically Rogue they can't temple out. I mean, why can't they, they? Rogue's game plan is basically use your health, play a bunch of cheat removal, get stuff on the board, hit someone in the face, win like that. But there's way too much fucking healing. There's way too much fucking removal. There's way too much fucking discover. Like Rogue has no chance. Like Rogue's come, like even before the fact that the cards are garbage, Rogue has no chance because the meta is just so heavily against them. Like, look, Demon Hunter, get a bunch of Nagas, and they have no chance because there's not no good Nagas, nothing good rotated in to help them. Warlock, 
Warlock becomes significantly worse because their hero power is basically rendered uh, pointless because all the other uh, there's so much discover there's so many card generation cards that all the other classes they can like the warlock warlock either goes extremely low extreme aggro and uses their hero power to refresh and to keep the pedal up kind of like a hunt, uh, hunter in a way or they go control and they just try to outlast you by having card advantage and that second option does not exist so basically the meta, the meta is completely goddamn fucking horrible so there's going to be a lot of classes where they can't do anything. And that's and that's basically where I am with Arena. Now, on the other side is that this is probably one of the lowest neutral sets. There's only one card in neutral which is extremely good and that's Burrow Buster. And I have this at 100. The only reason I have this at 100 is because I compare it to uh, where is it? Claw Machine here. Claw Machine is 98. It is a 6-3. Draw, draw a minion. Give it plus 3, plus 3. So, if you make a direct comparison, it's 5 mana for a 6-4. So, it's better stats, better mana. Still has Rush. You get the treasure immediately as a battle cry versus the death rattle. And yes, that does matter. I mean, they're... There are times, and you've known there's been stupid arena shit where you have three or four turns, no one plays a fucking thing, so you have this claw machine in your hand, and you can't trade it off on anything, you can't get anything from it. I mean, this is com stupid fucking shit that happens all the time. Here, you at least battle cry, so that is actually something that matters here. And so, as I mentioned, the treasures are good. Are they as good as a minion with plus three, plus three? I'm not sure, but the fact that this comes out on 5, and the fact that this acts, a activates the Excavate, it's a better claw machine, in my opinion. So, like, that's the only really, really, really good neutral among the entire set here. And everything else is, uh, it's good, it's solid, but it's in. And there's, there's stupid class shit, as usual. Like, ignoring the legendaries. Ignoring the legendaries. Shaman got a better Walking Fountain. Because you know what Walking Fountain needed? It needed 8 more health and Mega Wind Fury. So, and if you can't kill it, well, you, you, you can't kill it, because you're always going to have the answer. But you can't kill it, hey, this just gets to hit you for 16 in the fucking face. Oh, but you know what Shaman really needed? Do you know what Shaman really needed? Deal 6 damage to all minions. Summon a 6-6 six, six Tumbleweed for 7 mana. Oh, you want to know what else costs 7 mana? You want to know what else? Oh, let, me, let me get rid of this. <laughs> bye bye, Nagas. You fucking suck. You want to know what else costs 7 mana? Let's go over to Warlock. Let's go over to Warlock. Let's sort by cards. No, other way. Other way. Class cards. Uh, bye 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 bye. Hello, Abyssal Enforcer. Seven mana, six six. Which you're gonna get deal three damage to all other characters. So oh my oh no, oh no, this can't go face. This can't go face. It's it's an Abyssal Enforcer that deals three more damage to minions. And the worst thing is, this probably isn't even that good. I mean, it's going to be good, but it's not going to be like win the fucking game good like Abyssal is. Like Abyssal was. I mean, that's how stupid this shit is. That's how stupid Arena arena is. Alright. Okay, I'm just going to say this. Arena has broken me this last set. And I am at the point where I'm basically done with Arena. Or at least uh, doing card reviews. Because I am... Not in my written reviews, but when I'm going over these cards, I am have I like playing arena is a negative experience because of all the stupid fucking shit that happens. And it's not the barcodes or anything like that. It's that no matter how good of a deck I draft, like I, I have a written I have a written down in my um document, so you can kind of read it there. But this is just me uh, freestyling off the top of my head. It's like no matter how good of a draft I no how many, how many good of a, a deck I draft, there's always going to be decks that beat me. Because either they RNG something stupid, 
they're just better versions of the same deck. Like, I think I have a great deck, and then I meet someone who has the same deck, but better. So that always happens. I meet someone who gets great RNG. Like, RNG isn't really that great, because it's not. It's a, It's like Puzzle Box. Puzzle Box clearing the board and buffing your stuff and drawing cards, it's not RNG. It's inevitable. That's what Arena is right now. If you discover something, it's not RNG, it's inevitable they're going to get something to fuck you over with. And I'm just, I'm tired of boards where, like, Druid, like, as an example, Druid, I want to play Druid. I tried to play Druid. I spent probably thousands of gold trying to make Druid work the last set. And I fucking failed so hard. Because... Because every single time I would play Druid, it wouldn't work. Or I would get a great deck, but I would get a Death Knight that would out-tempo me. I would get a Mage that would out-remove me. I would have my draws be bad and then lose to someone else. And like maybe I would have like a couple games where I would high roll and I would win. But then the other classes would high roll and then I'd be out. And I'd be going like 3-3, three and 4-3, three, 2-3, and three, two and three, like that. So I- I'm-, I'm someone. My entertainment... My joy with Arena comes from like experimenting, playing the new stuff, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work, trying to find things. And that's fucking impossible anymore. There's ba- uh, like, okay, it, right now it's dual class Arena. Like, Karth Arena has a better version of it here, but if you look, it's the same thing as before. Death Knight is by far the best card, best class. Mage is only down here because their hero power is so good if you take it second. But it's like Death Knight and Mage are the tier here. Shaman is a little bit below them. They're extremely annoying. <clears throat> Excuse me. Warrior. Warrior only exists because warriors theoretically could outlast Mage. And they were kind of like a soft counter to them. But warriors, like, like they're the only other class that are halfway decent. And then everything else is complete dog shit. And if you pick one of those classes, you're like you have no chance. And I'm I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of having great runs just be just do nothing. I'm tired of feeling like whatever I do, whatever I try to build around, that it's worthless because someone else hit a high roll. I'm tired of unanswerable boards where if like I'm a druid. Like, Druid's got a bunch of good cards. How does Druid answer a board of five, of four, five, sixes from a warrior on turn four? And that's not even that hard to ha- That's not even that difficult to happen. Like, if you put a giant board on a Druid, they have no chance. You just lose. Like, Mage, maybe. Hunter, maybe. Death Knight, maybe. Like, Druid, they have zero chance. Rogue has zero chance. Priest has zero chance. Demon Hunter has zero chance. Like, there's so many classes that... Just because of the direction they've gone, how far they've pushed things, that it's just completely god fucking awful, and I hate it. And it 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 got to the point where I enjoy card reviews. I enjoy looking at the new cards. I enjoy thinking of okay, is this going to work? Is it not going to work? If I'm wrong, that's fine. I don't care. I just enjoy doing that. And this time for the card reviews, I just felt so many times where it's like this is completely fucking pointless. Why am I thinking about this? Because it's just not going to fucking work. Like, I look at the Rogue stuff. Like, Rogue, they have mediocre cards, but it's like, there's no chance for Rogue. And worst of all, Blizzard is not going to fucking fix it. Blizzard refuses to fucking fix it. Okay, let me uh, go back here. Let me go back here. Let me see. Uh, Not here, here. Actually, okay. Actually, no, this one is right here. Not decks. Cards. Arena. Like, I'm just going to give you an example. If I pick Mage here, if I go something like Ruined Orb. Okay. Ruined Orb has consistently been in a lot of Mage decks. Let me see. Uh, what's something from the most recent set here? Win rate. Class cards. Mana. Elemental Inspiration here, like as an example. Like, Elemental Inspiration, like, just continues to exist. Like, it's still around this level. Like, it's still something that you can just draft. And you can still get the four fives, and it's so swingy if you get the rush, or if you don't get the rush, if you get the lifesteal, if you don't get the lifesteal. And it's something like this that's just completely god-awful, and I just... Like, I'm at a, I, I am literally at a breaking point. 
Like every single arena streamer is gone or about to be gone. Like the goats have basically officially retired and they're not coming back. Dreads is basically openly saying he hates arena and that he's looking at a life outside of arena. There's basically no one else who plays. There's like no other. Dredge is like the one nexus for arena players. And I, I get it if he leaves. I completely fucking understand. It's just I hate what they're doing. I hate what they have done. Okay, I'm going to say this. This makes me a complete fucking asshole. I don't care. This is how I feel. There were a bunch of layoffs that happened over the last couple to Blizzard employees. And you know what my thought was? I fucking hope those guys were the people in charge of Arena because maybe you get some people who actually give a fucking shit. And I don't care how bad that makes me feel. I hate what has happened to Arena so much that people lose their livelihoods, lose their jobs. And my thought is not, oh, that's a bad thing for them. The thought is, hopefully this fixes things for me. So that makes me a bad person. I don't give a fuck. All right. So basically, here's what I'm saying. If they don't fix Arena, if this rotation is not like a good rotation, if it does not fix anything, then I'm just done. Like, I'm still going to play Arena casually, but I, there's no reason to ever, to, there's no reason to put myself through to get just like the mental anguish of playing this and getting extremely frustrated. Or playing this and then getting fucked over because there's overpowered cards that shouldn't exist in here. Or playing this, at, or playing this and watch them do nothing the entire fucking rotation to fix things. And they, like, they can't even fix things. Like, I've, Literally been the I've literally been waving the flag for like ten years on this shit. I have been as vocal of an arena supporter as anyone has been out there. I have dedicated like hundreds of hours of my lives to doing the job that Blizzard could not fucking do. Back with micro adjustments, I have done this for like so long. Like I know there's streamers out there, but I have dedicated so much of my time, and it just feels complete fucking garbage to play this mode and to get in and to have so many bad things happen. I mean, you look at the leaderboards. If you go over to the leaderboards, let me see. I, I, I don't know if I have leaderboards over here. Community, leaderboards. I'm, I'm just going to make a point here. Here is uh, dual class arena. Dual class arena typically would be where you would have like the highest arena scores. All right. I want to make a point here. Number one arena score right now is 6.97. Number five is 6.77. There's not, there's 19 people right now have an arena score of over a six. There was a point in time where the top 100, 150 players would be at a seven or a higher on average wins. And they have just made arena so miserable that like even the best players, and I'm not sure how many of these players are kind of like scuff accounts. I'm not sure how many of these players are like leaving after like, uh, like they stop playing after, um, whatchamacallit, uh, like they just play 30 runs and they give up. But it's like, this is the, it used to be 9.4 or in the nines was where you could be, where your skill mattered. You could get here. And now your skill is like not even a break even point. And it's just so completely fucking frustrating here to play. So, yeah. Basically, if they don't fix shit, then I'm done. Like, I'm done with the arena community. I'm done with, like, uh, caring about arena. Like, I said, I'll play casually. I'll just, like, kind of follow. But I'll basically be done with the game because I just can't stand it anymore. All right. Last little bit before we go in. So, two things that happens here. All right. So, number one, the first pick of each draft is guaranteed to be a legendary card. So, this matters because I didn't bring it up for Showdown in the Badlands, but there are the legendaries, the, the five classes that have the um, treasure legendary. Like Death Knight, Warlock, Mage, Rogue, Warrior. They got a legendary if you can excavate four times, right here. What that means is that the classes that do not have an Excavate Legendary, like Druid, they get, if your deck has no duplicates, summon something. So basically, Reno decks. So this matters because, okay, if the first pick is a Legendary, 
then that means if you get one of these Reno cards, you can actually try to build a deck around it. So it makes these decks. But if you try to do this, you're a complete fucking idiot and completely fucking stupid. Do you want to know why you're a complete fucking idiot and you're completely fucking stupid to do this? And this is going back to I just I fucking hate Arena so much anymore. Do you know what class exists? Do you know what class is the best class in Arena consistently? Death Knight. Do you know what Death Knights have a lot of? Or they don't have a lot of it. But let's take a look here. Oh, let me see if I can find it here. Okay, fine. It's not great up here. You know what they have? They have plagues. Death Knights have plagues. Some, some uh, shuffle come, uh, a couple plagues into your decks. Do you know what plagues do? Plagues prevent you from playing Reno cards. Hmm. So it's like, you can build a deck. You can draft this incredible card. You can draft this card, which has the potential to be stronger than Sargeras. And hi, look here. Like, Sargeras has his own tier. And this has the potential to be stronger than Sargeras. And then you can just completely fucking neuter it. Why? Because you played a Death Knight that has a plague that shuffled two plagues into your deck that the plagues will ruin your Reno deck. And then you draw, you have your card, you don't draw the plagues, and then you can't do anything. And this entire deck you built around one concept is complete garbage. I mean, and guess what? And We're in Arena, so Death Knights do this. I mean, if you're a Death Knight now, it is actually a smart decision to prioritize plagues over other cards because everyone's going to have a legendary and like half the classes are going to have legendaries where you have this so you can play this to fuck over other people. That's that's what Arena is. So it's like, and again, this is me being miserable rating these cards. How can I rate this card fairly when I know there's a very good chance that you're going to lose a game? You're going to get completely fucked over because one class is completely fucking broken and has an option to just, like, ignore all of this. To just, like, destroy it. Like, why the fuck should I even try to build a deck around this card when one class is just going to say, fuck you, you stupid motherfucker. How fucking dare you? So here's a card. Let's ruin you. All right, I I got I got to be less. All right. So, point being, first pick is a legendary and legendaries cannot peer anymore. So, that doesn't really fit that doesn't fix things. It makes the Reno decks better, but it makes the Reno decks worse because now you're going to have Death Knight that's just going to fuck them over. So, along with the change, they remove Titans. Titans never should have been in there. Titans never should have been there. Titans were never a problem. They've removed Titans from the arena pool, although, hey, guess what? You know who can still get Titans? Do you know who can still get Titans? Motherfucking Mage. Look at the Mage here. Ha ha ha. Get a random Titan. It costs one. All you gotta do is excavate. Ah ha 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 Fuck you for playing arena. That's, ba that's where we're at. That's where we're at. So, yeah. Oh, and one more thing. One more thing here. Last little bit here. One of these sets in here is Caverns of Time. Do you know Caverns of Time? Caverns of Time was a set created for Twist. And I have it actually set up here. So what Caverns of Time does... So, uh, okay, so De it, Death Knight doesn't have any cards here. Demon Hunter doesn't. But it's basically... They took a bunch of old cards and they buffed them. Very much so. Like here, you get Scenario and Hole. Your next, next choose one turn, this turn, has both effects combined. So like, the one way Druid could win is Disciple of ENR into a bunch of uh, into a bunch of stats that no one could answer. Hey, guess what? You got a one-mana Disciple of ENR that you can trigger at any goddamn fucking time you fucking well please. Ha 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 ha. And then they get things like, oh, jeez. Like, and you get a bunch of cards that are like wild cards built around it that have different stats. So... This was never. This was not in arena before, but these cards here are going to be in arena. So these are going to be new things in here. It's oh here, okay. I'm just looking at some of the stupid things here. Uh, discover a location. Lay on both. Lay on hands. Uh, this is uh, okay. You can get two of those maybe. Give minions in your hand buff. Okay, there's a bunch of dumb stuff in here. It's not like okay. It's not like super dumb stuff. But it is a bunch of dumb stuff that is going to just be frustrating. Like here, Chamber of Viscudius is in here. 
I mean, that's going to ha that actually is going to be good with certain cards in here. So that's one of the things. The, okay, that's also going to be in here. But yeah. All right. Okay, I promise the rest of this, I am going to try to avoid being so negative. Except when I review Rogue and Priest and I point out that they're complete fucking dog shit. And you shouldn't even bother like looking at the cards because they're not going to exist. All right. That's it. That's it. I will see you in the reviews coming up. And by the way, I'm probably going to change my shirt at some time because I need to go to bed at some point. And after I go to bed, after I wake up, uh, I'll do the rest of the reviews tomorrow. So I'm going to do neutrals next, and then I'll see if I do any of the class cards before I go to bed. So take care.